Welcome to this week's Norse Media Entertainment Report. I'm Curtis Nurberg. Best-selling author Julie Powell has passed away at the age of 49. Powell died October 26th at her home in New York. She's best known for chronicling her efforts to prepare every recipe in Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking, which later inspired the 2009 movie Julie and Julia. Powell's husband told the New York Times her cause of death was cardiac arrest. American actress and comedian Sherry Shepard is fulfilling a dream she's had her whole life. She always wanted to be a talk show host, and that dream is now reality. Her new daytime show is called Sherry. She shared, she shared how much she loves her new job in an interview with CNN. Even though she is working long hours, she says she enjoys her guests, her crew, and the audience, and she hopes her show stands out. The daytime landscape is pretty crowded. Shepard is competing for ratings against other big name stars like Jennifer Hudson, Drew Barrymore, and Kelly Clarkson. Now that Shepard has her own show, she says she hopes to win an Emmy someday. Halloween weekend meant several scary movies at the cinema. Could, they, could any of them frighten Dwayne Johnson out of the top spot at the box office? David Daniel has early estimates for the top five films in theaters. Lyle Lyle Crocodile crawled back two spots this week to fifth place on ticket sales of $4.2 million. Halloween Ends dropped from first place down to fourth with $8 million, as Smile went from second to third with $8.4 million. Mom, Dad, this is good day. George Clooney and Julia Roberts' latest rom-com, Ticket to Paradise, brought in $16.3 million, good enough for a ticket to a second place debut. I kneel before no one. And the new undisputed heavyweight champion of the box office is Black Adam. Dwayne Johnson's overpowered anti-hero fought off all contenders to dominate first place with a $67 million opening, marking Johnson's biggest debut as leading man. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Christina Applegate says finishing the last season of her Netflix show Dead to Me was the hardest thing she's ever done. The 50-year-old actress opened up about her multiple sclerosis diagnosis in a New York Times article that published Tuesday. She says filming shut down temporarily in the summer of 2021 when doctors told her she had the autoimmune disease. Citing an obligation to the show's producers and her co-stars, she insisted on finishing the third and final season despite offers to wrap with what had already been shot. Now she's getting ready to publicize the show ahead of its November 17th premiere. Applegate says she is now 40 pounds heavier and has to walk with a cane. And if people can't get past it, that's her business. Their business, my bad. Dolly Parton says her touring days are done. The county mu country music legend tells the magazine Polestar she doesn't want to tour because they take a lot of time and energy to plan, and she doesn't want to be away from her husband for weeks at a time. Parton's last tour was in 2016, and with 60 shows, it was her largest North American tour ever. However, the 76-year-old isn't ruling out special events like festivals and says technology makes it easier to stay connected with her fans. Parton also tells the magazine she's working on a rock album and would love Stevie Nicks or Lady Gaga to sing with her. Maybe Parton can talk to Stevie Nicks about it next week at their Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony on November 5th in Los Angeles. NFL star Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen have announced their separation. The former couple went to Instagram Friday to say they finalized their divorce after 13 years of marriage. Brady wrote, quote, We arrived at this decision am amicably and with gratitude for the time we spent together. We will continue to work together as parents. Bunchen echoed his statement, saying, quote, The decision to end a marriage is never easy, but we have grown apart. I feel blessed for the time we had together and only wish the best for Tom always. The two have been living, living separately and both hired divorce attorneys after months of tension reportedly over Brady's decision to return to the NFL after initially retiring last winter. They have two children together. You can pick up tickets for the men's NKU vs. University of Cincinnati basketball game starting Tuesday, November 8th at 11.30 in the Student Union Lobby. The game is on November 16th in Truist Arena at 7 o'clock. They expect tickets to sell quickly, so make sure to get tickets as soon as you can. Taylor Swift has announced her long-awaited tour called Taylor Swift The Eras Tour. This tour will take us through the past and present albums Taylor has released. Openers such as Paramore, Haim, Girl in Red, Phoebe Bridgers, and more are set to tour with Taylor across the U.S. Swift has a stop in Cincinnati at Paycor Stadium on July 1st, accompanied by Gracie Gracie Abrams and Muna. 
Pre-sale registration is open now and will close Wednesday, November 9th at 11.59 p.m. Adele has some news for us. All these years, we've been saying her name wrong. While many pronounce it as Adele, the singer says it's actually Adele. She noted the correction during a recent Q&A session when a woman asking about her songwriting guessed the correct pr pronunciation. The event was held to celebrate her new music video for the song I Drink Wine. Up next for the singer, her Las Vegas residency, Weekends with Adele, starts November 18th. With the latest news from the big and small screens, here's David Daniel with the Hollywood Minute. One day you're playing kick the can with kids named Flick and Schwartz. I triple dog dare you! And the next thing you know, you're a certified adult. Ralphie! Ralph, dear old man. Fragile. He was the best. The first full trailer is out for the Yuletide sequel, A Christmas Story Christmas. A grown-up Ralphie discovers making Christmas magical for your family isn't as easy as his dad made it look. A Christmas Story Christmas premieres November 17th on HBO Max. It was extremely challenging physically, uh, vocally. Lupita Nyong'o may not be very vocal for an upcoming role. Variety and Deadline report the Oscar winner is in final talks to star in A Quiet Place Day One, a spin-off of the popular franchise. The film is scheduled to hit theaters March 8th, 2024. What is going on? You need to remember your place here. Stepmother, please. Giselle is yes. under a curse. We have to stop this or everything and Elysian will die. Suburbia's never looked so magical. Amy Adams' Giselle turns evil stepmother in the latest trailer for Disenchanted. The fairy tale sequel seeks its happily ever after November 18th on Disney+. Plus. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Christmas Story Christmas is set to stream on HBO Max, which is part of the Warner Brothers Discovery family. Thanks for watching this week's Norse Media Entertainment Report. You can find us on Twitter at NKU World Report and at Norse Media. Stay classy, NKU.